Hello Beacons, it's Katherine Newman here, your interim chancellor, broadcasting to you from my bedroom, which is the administrative headquarters of UMass Boston for the next few weeks. You may wonder why I'm in my bedroom, and that's because I come from a family of academics, so one of my sons is recording a lecture to his students on the history of social policy in the United States. Uh, my husband is delivering a lecture on quantitative st statistical methods to his students. Another political scientist in the family is talking to his colleagues in Europe about reactions to the pandemic. So the administrative headquarters is relegated to the bedroom. The academics are going on elsewhere. But it's really a pleasure for me to be able to speak to you nonetheless and to tell you how encouraged I am by the extraordinary success of UMass Boston in managing this complex migration to a remote learning environment. All kudos to the faculty who have taken up this challenge, reworked their classes, figured out how to use all the technological bells and whistles that a Luddite like myself is not very familiar with, and have done so whether they were experienced at online education or new to remote learning. They have really stepped up and worked hard to make sure that your experience for the rest of the semester is as strong and engaging as possible. Second set of credits go out to the staff. Extraordinary people who have worked incredibly hard from our colleagues in IT who have helped with um, tutoring sessions on how to use remote technology, who have come to the rescue of people who have stumbled somewhere and need a helping hand. I hear nothing but praise for our, our friends and colleagues in IT. Um, our colleagues in the One Stop, our friends in financial aid, everybody is pulling together to try to address some of the hardships and difficulties that I know many of you are experiencing. As the economy sputters because of this um, need we have to stay indoors and away from one another, I know that many of you are experiencing significant financial hardship. People in your family have probably lost jobs and it's a really tough time. I want to encourage you to explore the resources that you can see on our website. We have done what we can to support the Beacon Emergency Fund. You will see on the website, um, especially the front page of our campus website, the coronavirus special section, and it leads you to information that may be useful to you, both for your academic planning and also for uh, rebates and other um, efforts that we're making to try and ease the way. But no matter what we do, this is a very, very difficult time for all Americans. On that note, I want to call out especially the first responders in our city who have done so much to help so many. And I'm thinking especially of the students who graduated from our campus in nursing and in the health sciences who are on the front lines in the hospitals contending with this extraordinary surge of demand for their special skills. We know they are at risk. We know that they care deeply about the patients they're taking care of, and we are immensely proud of what UMass Boston has done to contribute to that labor force on the front lines of the, of the pandemic. We wish them all well. We are definitely thinking about them and wondering what we can do to be helpful. I'm really grateful to the donors who have stepped up from all over the country, from among our 110,000 alumni, many of whom have come forward to contribute to funds that will help our students. You may have noticed that we launched an initiative to find the funding for 200 Chromebooks for students who are without computers at home. And I'm pleased to say that we have crossed that uh, finish line and we're busy doling out computers for students in need as well as faculty members who may need more technology at home. We have had many people come forward to contribute to the Beacon Emergency Fund for our students. And while we know that will not cure all of the need that is out there, I'm immensely grateful to people who stepped up to try and do what they could. As we launch into the next few weeks of remote learning, I want to encourage you once again to stay the course. Everyone has invested so much already in what you've accomplished this semester. We really want to be sure that everyone sees the term over to the finish line so that your accomplishments are properly recorded and you can continue on in your education. We will be hearing from the committee uh, that is working on 
what kinds of alternatives we can pursue for graduation. That committee will be inviting members of the Student Government Association to contribute a robust student point of view. There are many opportunities and options, and until they have figured out what makes the most sense and what accords with the strongest community sentiment, um, we'll just have to wait and see. But we know that we can't go forward with what we had originally planned, so we need to find some alternatives or delays that we can embrace and make sure that we recognize our graduates and our faculty and our graduate students uh, for all the hard work that they have contributed. So with that all in mind, I wanna say again, go Beacons, you guys are the greatest. This is gonna be, we are gonna get through this and we're going to find our way. And if anything, we will be stronger for it. I'm thinking of you all the time, every day from my administrative headquarters here in my bedroom. Thank you so much.